Hello, welcome. Read the problem, try it out, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. So we're trying to figure out if this equation is true for all values of a and b. So this is really a law of logarithm question. So it's the laws of logs. And here, this is actually, this is false. Let's just start by saying that. This is not always going to work. And we can quickly test it out by plugging in values for a and b. This is a common log base of 10. So try it out. Plug in, let's say, 1,000, so 10 to the third, plus 10 squared. And the question is, does it equal the log of 10 to the third plus the log of 10 squared? Log of 10 to the third. That's 10 to what power is 10 to the third, right? You're solving this equation. You're solving 10 to what power equals 10 to the third. And here you're solving the equation 10 to what power equals 10 squared, um, right? This I do that because our, our common logs have a base of 10. So it's just 3 plus 2, and that's 5. So over here we have 1,000 plus 100. That's a log of 1,100. And that is not going to be equal to 5, right? These are not going to be equal. And let's just pull up the calculator to make sure we agree with that. Oops. So let me go here. And on the calculator, we've got the log, common log, of 1,100. So it's only about 3, so it's not really close to 5, right? So this is about, I'll say, 3.04, or whatever that was over there. About 3.04. Does not work. So just to clarify what does work, the actual correct law, the true law, would be when you have the log of a times b, not a plus b. The log of a times b, it does equal the log of a plus the log of b. And I'm writing this law using the common base, the common logarithm of 10, but it works for any base. All right, hope that helped.